Hi there guys, um, I know it's been a little while since I made a video, but for this video I'm going to cover what's happened between um, JD from New York and um, Alexa Bliss on Twitter today. Um, with tension still running high amid the untimely death of Hannah Kimura, uh, which was the chilling end result of a tragic story about cyberbullying, the conversation of social media decorum in pro wrestling has quickly become top of mind. Fans and members of the WWE locker room remain on high alert for the behaviour they feel is akin to the harsh comments on social media that drove the 22-year-old stardom athlete to her own demise. And popular wrestling personality JD from NY206 has quickly become a target. I'm sure anyone who watches um, this video will know who, who um, JD from New York is. JD from NY206 has a sizable, passionate following of over 30,000 followers on Twitter and over 116,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I'm actually one of those subscribers. So I'll probably get hate just for saying that, but oh well, fuck it, I don't care. The polarising analyst has become a mainstay on social media through impassioned, no holds barred takes on the current product. JD also has a lengthy history of levelling intense criticism, criticism towards Bliss, uh, Alex Bliss, who claims to have had him blocked forever. Uh, that's on Twitter. Well, yes, um, JD certainly has criticised Alexa Bliss for her in-ring work. He's also praised her ability on the microphone and her promo skills a lot as well. think she's just I guarantee you she's one of those women that just lays there and takes it nothing she does nothing can you imagine being in bed with Alexa Bliss and and she performs the same way uh, she does in the ring awful all look and no substance whatsoever uh, JD from NY206 has since responded. I'll just call him JD from now on in this video. Um, Bliss's response has since led to a firestorm of criticism of the iconoclast um, with WWE superstars Sonya Deville, who suggested she'll get physical with JD. And she was the. Um, she, she also was. Like saying like a couple of days earlier about cyberbullying, cyberbullying being wrong, and she's basically um, sending threats to JD. It's a bit of a double standard there. But I'll continue. An admitted bullying victim, Rhea Ripley, weighed in. Um, Alexa Bliss's own struggles with her self-image in the past, while battling an eating disorder, makes comments like this and many others from JD, that much more reckless. But while calling out irresponsible behaviour among wrestling media personalities with large followings is a step in the right direction, it also leads to a potentially slippery um, slope in the much larger conversation of cyberbullying. WWE superstars with much larger platforms than JD publicly calling some somebody out will only lead 
to more targeted attacks um, through which is what JD's been getting from Alexa Bliss fans on Twitter all day. As much as JD's actions should come with appropriate consequences, which hopefully result in growth and evolution um, for the polarising figure, what has instead ha- happened feels more like fighting fire with fire. Say uh, one thing I will say in defence of JD here is that um, anything he said about um, Alexa Bliss has been about Alexa Bliss um, in WWE and not on the actual person. Um, people do need do need to separate uh, the two, which they don't always do. JD has been publicly labelled a cyber bully which I don't agree with, and as a result many are now cyberbullying him right back, which is hypocritical. This is not the answer. He was, uh, and uh, this article says he was definitely in the wrong here. Well, he, he is stating his opinion on about Alexa Bliss, and it, it was very strong, but JD is ve- like, very strong. Very strong about how he feels about the current WWE product, which he does have the right to do so. This post Hannah Kimura controversy only points to the sad reality that there uh, may be no resolution for the troubling dynamic of Twitter's constant, potentially dangerous targeted attacks, regardless of how beloved or loathed the target is. This recent targeted attack on JD, while some may try to argue is warranted, the um, hypocrites, that is, yeah, feels like a step backwards in the inconvenient discussion of cyberbullying, which it is, because that they're doing exactly what they're accusing JD of doing. Um, anyway guys um, that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video hit the like subscribe and don't forget to share and I'll see you next time